thank God for people like you that can keep this history going because there's history there. Research. That's where the joy lies and the fascination. Let the others scurry about gathering their contemporary bits of gossip. This is where the meat is found. Hi guys. It's just a an update and a follow-on from the previous upload in which I revealed this uh, remarkable collection of newspaper clippings, original newspaper clippings from 70 years ago concerning Marciano's defense against Don Coquel. And all the clippings are from UK newspapers of the time. Probably of all the fights Rocky had as champion, the most covered and the reason is obvious in the British press. Obviously, Don Coquel was the first heavyweight to challenge for the title since Tommy Farr, 18 years earlier when he fought Joe Lois. And put up such a good show, which was equaled, according to the press around the world, by Don Coquel. Now I said in that video that this scrapbook which contained literally hundreds upon hundreds of clippings of sporting events between April and June of 1955 that I was going to keep it as it was and just refer to the Marciano pieces in it but as I was going through it I came to realize just how many clippings there were concerning Rocky and Don Coco. They ended up counting out 220. 220 clippings in this scrapbook. Some of them were buried behind other things and would have been lost if I'd have just left them in where they were. So what I've done is, as you can see, I've carefully, carefully taken them all out, removed them. Some of them came away quite easy. Others put up a little bit more of a fight, but I got them all out and I have redistributed them, if that's the right word, in my own little scrapbook, which is a, a homage to how they were originally kept by piecing them all together, again in like a flipbook style, which is how they were in the original scrapbook. And there's also a large section of the original scrapbook still kept as was, which you'll see in a little while. But just wanted to show you just how many articles were in this in this remarkable, remarkable scrapbook. And I've, I've literally still only flicked through the articles. I haven't really read any of them yet, so I'm going to sit down and spend some quality time reading each and every article there's stuff in here by Harry Carpenter there's stuff by Eamon Andrews people who, who might not mean much to American audiences but to British audiences they were they were like the, the voices in the names box and there's obviously loads by Peter Wilson there's, there's and more that I haven't even named yet but I'm going to go through each and every one and and really read through the articles but I've, I've done it like this and so now I can just go and pull the entire the entire piece out when I need it for reference so but this just goes to show how, how deep I'm going into to Rocky's life story that just this one fight <laughs> hundreds of articles but this is all information that's going to add to the project on Rocky Volume 2 is still in the works and it's coming, but I don't want to rush it because as you can see, more material is coming to me constantly. And again, this entire collection was due to research funders, people who generously donated to my, my research on a GoFundMe. I've set up a new one, so the link will be in the description if you want to get your name mentioned in, this, in a video like this. 
and also at the end of the the project once the final volume on Rocky Marciano was out which is some way down the road yet but it, it is coming but genuinely I just want to say some thank you to everyone who who watches these videos and takes the time to watch these videos please subscribe please like and thank you for your support it's hugely appreciated There's a champion inside